Hyper local is the buzzword in the startup world now. In the past year or so, there has been an exponential growth in e-commerce companies with businesses like Urban Ladder, Swiggy, Simply Learn, Jugnu going on a growth trajectory after receiving initial funding. But how are these companies coping internally with this kind of explosive growth? Grofers raised $46.5 million from existing funders and the valuation of the company is around $115 million. It changed its business model from being a B2B to a B2C company in the span of a year. We were operating as a more of a B2B business for the first year and a half. Uh, we got funded by Sequoia uh, last year in September, a uh, small seed round of funding. And uh, in January of this year, we launched a consumer-facing app as well. So since we were already doing a lot of this stuff for the businesses, we said, you know, why not also connect the consumer to the local businesses? Um, since then, things have actually moved on to another level. Growth and challenges go hand in hand. For a company that started with a small core team, it has now grown to a level where it's not possible for the founders to translate their vision to each person in the team individually. Yet, the ethos is seamlessly translated to the most recent hire. Keeping up with the growth story, uh, we are failing miserably at it. We are, we are trying very hard to, to keep up. Just to give you scale, uh, December of last year, we were about 180 people in the company, including the entire delivery staff. Uh, as of June, we were 3,300 people, uh, including everybody feet on the street and everybody else. So it is difficult to sort of stay up with it. Uh, I think the secret sauce is just try to go out and hire the best people that you can because they are the only ones who will help you maintain some semblance of sanity. Other benefits like which the companies will give like free food and free shuttle, free buses, we are probably not giving any of those but we are giving a uh, we are giving the kind of people around who will give you the best learning environment. A growing team and the infectious energy around are reflected in all employees. And the long working hours don't seem to be a concern for this company on a runaway growth path. Explosive growth seems to be fueling the adrenaline for this quick expanding team to fire on all cylinders. I have literally no clue where how did I spend my last seven months? And uh, But what motivates me the most is the people that I work with. They really are passionate about how to bring a change in, in you know, whatever the, the system that you're working in. And uh, there's not even a single day when we feel that, okay, we need some more motivation to work for. I think every single person in the company knows and is part of a larger jigsaw puzzle. And they know that they are making a difference to where the company is going and what we're trying to do. Right? Um, that for me is one of my biggest motivations. Every day is a different challenge, a new challenge, very often an older challenge that we're trying to figure out. And um, it's very exciting generally with everything that we're trying to do, with everything that we're trying to do, with the kind of, uh, with the kind of changes we're trying to make in the entire ecosystem. It's, it's very exciting. And uh, for me, that's, that's one of my biggest motivations coming in every morning or working very long hours. That's not a problem at all. With the sun shining bright on the e-commerce sector, companies like Grofers are certainly soaking it all in. Somewhere along the line, before we started itself, we realized that uh, the market isn't just fridge magnets or souvenirs and stuff like that. We said with you know, a large enough lifestyle and accessories kind of company is something that we'd like to build. Uh, to begin with, take us through the process of the acquisition. See, we, we are a uh, company headquartered out of Bangalore and majority of our customers were from uh, North America. So we do a lot of research in terms of what kind of uh, courses will be relevant for them and, and all of that research work happens from India. 